Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back to my channel. And this video is going to be about software-defined video application and specifically when it comes to live video transmission. Uh, one of the key idea using software-defined video is that you can build your own communication system during runtime and you can design anything of your system, a radio system, and then you can implement this on software-defined radio platform. For that purpose, I'm using my Adlam Pluto SDR. And the reason I'm using Adlam Pluto SDR because in this video I'm going to show you how you can do a live transmission of your uh, of a video using software defined radio. There are many applications associated with this uh, particular demo uh, that I'm about to show you. Uh, for that purpose, I'm using a software called Q Radio Link. Uh, Q Radio Link is a beautiful software that uh, that has all the capabilities. It allows you to actually uh, use your software defined radio for voice transmission, for radio transmission, for, for video transmission, things like that. One of the applications that I can think of is actually using for drone live uh, transmission. So for example, if you have a drone that has a camera, you can mount a small software defined radio system and that would be transmitting your live window using the camera, uh, which is being uh, controlled by your SDR. And that's the demo for it. Uh, for think of it like for drone application, uh, for uh, a drone with a camera plus a small software defined radio. And for that purpose, I'm using a radio called uh, Pluto SDR. It's a very, it's a full duplex, a small radio. Uh, I know it comes with housing and things like that, but it's a, if you were to look at the motherboard of it, it's quite a small motherboard uh, of Pluto SDR, which can be easily mounted. It won't affect the, payload of your drone and definitely every drone has a camera so you can use that camera so let me just give you this demo for that purpose I'm using Q radio link and just simply go to setup and choose your radio all right first of all go to general settings once you have your radio connected you need your transmitting device and receiving device so in this video I am actually depicting an entire system uh, the complete transceiver system using Pluto SDR but if your drone is just simply transmitting a window uh, transmitting a video you don't need to have a receiving device you just need to have a transmitting device unless if it's just doing the transmission just throwing you sending your command and control station a video live feed of a video you don't need you just need a transmitter but since I'm going to show you the demo of both transmit and receive and uh, so here's here's what it is so transmitting device since i have my pluto sdr connected it's a full duplex device that is operating from 328 megahertz all the way up to 3.8 gigahertz so both of these devices are pluto sdr because it's a full duplex device everything is same uh just save this and go to your spectrum so normally generally drone operates somewhere around 2.4 gigahertz band uh and Adlam Pluto SDR is uh, frequency ranges in that range. Of course, with Adlam Pluto SDR, you cannot go to five gigahertz band, Wi-Fi band, but let's say you have a drone that is operating at 2.4 gigahertz band. Uh, this is like the perfect example for it. Uh, just to give you an idea, all you need to do, just go here and set the frequency. So I have already set the frequency to, to right here, uh, 2.43 gigahertz or 2430 megahertz that's the frequency that i have set and let's let's just do a simple receiving site so once i receive this so this is right now the spectrum looks like uh, this is what is being transmitted this is what is being received by my adlam pluto sdr and q radio link uh, as you can see you can play around with the gain uh, you can play around with the transmitting or reception, receive gain. So receive gain. Let's say if you have a high gain, 88 dB. So this is what a spectrum looks like. Move this aside. So this is what it looks like. So it's, it's, it's quite populated because of my gain. Let me just reduce the gain. And this is what a spectrum looks like. Now, uh, let's say, so this is what is being transmitted. Let me turn off the transmitter. Now I want to choose uh, what type of a transmission that I want to do. So simply go here in this option, uh, transmit modulation and receive modulation. Go to drop down block. There are a lot of modulation that Cube Radio Link support, uh, FM, narrowband, FM, 
upper side band, lower side band, 3 dv, 1600 lsb and things like that. Let's say we want to do video transmission and this is the purpose of this whole video. So go to video QPSK. This is the transmission you will set at the receiving side and this is the transmission you will set at the transmitting side. Uh, make sure you turn on both of these devices. Enable transmitter, enable reception. Once you have done this, now you're going to turn off this uh, duplex operation. Duplex operation is just to show me that it's going to transmit from the transmitting chain of your Adlum Pluto SDR and going to receive it at the receiving chain of your Pluto SDR. Uh, just simply open up duplex and now you need to, in order for you to perform PTT, push to talk, uh, to, to, to start transmitting your video, uh, your video what this would do, Q-Link, what it, what it will do that uh, the camera that you will have on your laptop is going to actually capture, is going to capture that video and is going to transmit that video from a transmitting chain and is going to receive it at the receiving chain. So uh, my camera light, you cannot see that, but it's going to turn on and you would immediately see the window video and let's wait for it. Let's wait for it. Uh, let me just turn on duplex and and let me turn on duplex. All righty. The video is not coming. There we go. So by just changing again a little bit of my transmitting gain, I was able to see the video. So this is what the video looks like. Um, this is what is being transmitted, as you can see, at 2.43 gigahertz. And this is what you're seeing. This is how the spectrum is being populated because now this is what you're seeing at the reception end. And this is the video that you're seeing on your screen, uh, which is done. You also, if you were to focus it, uh, it does capture your audio too because I can hear it, but you won't be able to hear it. But uh, of course, there's a small lag between the window uh, uh, in, in the video, but you can clearly see that uh, the transmission is happening. So this is like one of the way you can actually perform uh, uh, live video transmission uh, using Q Radio Link. Uh, you can use any any hardware that you want. Uh, Adlum Pluto SDR is a good choice. It's around two hundred dollars. So so for a radio system, it's quite good. You can also do a text transmission. You can do video transmission. You can do audio transmission. But the main purpose is to actually just to show you that you can live uh, transmit your video. I mean, and of course, I know the newer drones are like equipped with all that stuff. But let's say if you're designing your own system, uh, you will be able to do it. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.